Hey guys, I'm Elise and welcome to my channel. So I really wanted to film a video today about something that's really important to me, journaling. I love journaling so much. I think it's an amazing thing for anyone to do and it's just keeping track of your day-to-day -day life. Of course, you can do it however you want, but that's just how I like to do it. So let's get into the video. I have six steps for you to be able to start journaling if you'd like to do that, or if you already journal, which is great, it can help you out. So if you're deciding to start journaling, the first thing you have to do is pick out a journal. My personal favorite journals that I have are the Moleskin journals. They are so nice, they're a little bit expensive, but if it's something you're gonna be writing in every day and it's for your year, then it's awesome. This one is the lined one. This is my senior year journal and this is my one from junior year. This one started out as a sketchbook and then I finally started getting into journaling and so you can see that it has some art but it also has um, my writing in it too. The next journal that I have to show you is from Vera Bradley and it's like a wallet journal. You have a place where you can put your cards and I have my information on here and it wasn't very thought through and it didn't work out for me personally, but I can see it being great for people on the go, people who like to write a lot, need to take a lot of notes. I prefer the journals that I have. It's a very cool thing if that's what floats your boat. The next journal I have is just this small little shell journal. I keep this in my purse just in case. I was recently in Costa Rica on a vacation and I didn't bring my main journal with me because I was afraid I'd lose it. This one is just lined. It's a lot smaller so it fits in my bag. I really like it a lot. Super cute too. Finally, the last journal that I'm going to show you that I recommend is the Q&A a day journals. So you've probably seen these on YouTube or just on the internet. and. People love these. It's basically a five-year journal and it asks you a question that you have to answer every day. And you get to see how your opinions and your thoughts and what you think about changes over the years. What was the last book you read? Or the first thing you ate was for March 21st. I love this. I haven't kept up with it as much as I'd like to, but it's very good, especially if you're trying to start out journaling every day. My second tip is get good supplies. I use pencils, pens, markers, because I'm a very visual person and I like to draw and I like to doodle and so my journal really reflects that. And I'll put some footage in of my journals. So this is just what I keep on my nightstand table. I have this Elmer's all-purpose glue stick. I use that for pictures. And then this is my washi tape. I have a ton of washi tape that I love to use just for borders and everything like that. And this tape is from Scotch. Finally, I like to keep scissors with me there so in case I have photographs or I don't even know, little clippings of drawings from other things, I can Put it on there. My third tip that I have for journaling is have a space where you keep your stuff. So like I just showed you, I keep my supplies on my nightstand right next to my bed and that's where I journal. You should keep your supplies wherever you journal obviously, but it's good to have them all in one place so I'm not searching around my room all over my desk to try and find my supplies. For tip number four is the when. When are you supposed to journal? I personally find that obviously if I keep my journal on my nightstand, I like to do my journaling at night. It's the last thing I do before I go to bed. It's very relaxing and I find that that's a good time for me to write down information about my day. You might have a different thing. If you're very busy at night or you don't feel like writing at night and you're just sleepy, then maybe the morning works better for you. When you're on the bus, when you're on your airplane, if you travel a lot, that's a good time to journal. Whatever's best for you. Try and keep it at the same time every single day. That leads me to my next point, number five, be consistent with it. And this is probably the hardest part about journaling and it really took me a while to be more consistent with my journaling, but if you make a point to write for like a week, then it will just become habit, you know? Just have a routine. Make sure you write at the same time every single day, if you can. Make sure to write every day. That's the best thing to do. Consistency is key, but I miss I miss journaling sometimes. I miss like for a month. I, the num month of November does not exist in my journal. The m important thing to do is if you take a break from journaling like a week off by accident and you decide to get back, it's never too late. Just recount what you did that week and like the main events. You can journal however often you want to. 
but if you want to be consistent every day it works really well. My sixth tip for journaling is on what to write about. This is another thing that people have a lot of trouble with and for me personally I like to just write down like what I did that day or if something's on my mind, if someone's on my mind, you know, just stuff like that. Friend stuff, how much I love my friends, what I'm thankful for. You can write about your plans for the next day, plans for the week. You can use it as a dream journal. I've tried to do that, but it didn't really work, but you can always find topics. And also if you look online, they have a lot of topics for journal writing and what to do. So thank you so much for watching my video. I'm new here on YouTube, so subscribing would be really, really helpful. Give this video a thumbs up, tell your friends about it. Um, thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!